Came out with El Capitan. A lot of improvements, a lot of performance improvements. All of the things are based around security improvements, performance improvements, and then basically making Spotlight not so geeky and being able to throw things in there like can, can stuff I, I worked on last can, week. Can I be honest? I just have not used Spotlight. I use Spotlight like a like I use Spotlight I mean, all the time. What what am I what am I missing here? Because I don't I I I just never it's not some place I think to go to. I mean, is this the same as going to the search box in the corner of Finder? Yeah. Uh, that, if you're going to the, if you're yeah, clicking you're, the magnifying glass, you are ridiculously yeah, get off slow. That. Get, get off that. that. <laughs> get yeah. off that. Yeah, <laughs> Apple plus space bar. Yeah, yeah. Apple yeah. Apple <laughs> Apple, hold on, hold Apple space Apple, bar. Apple Apple Plus Apple space bar. bar, Apple space bar. Yeah, that's it. And, that pops and then in. a little yeah, thing um, pops up in the no, middle. No, I've been getting this. Okay, I've been. Did you I, ever use Quicksilver back in the day? Who used Quicksilver? I mean, I know about it, but you know. Oh, so, right, so, so I got this thing pops here's, up here. Here's, here's and I start searching. Now, what's, what should I search for? No, no, what's no, probably, no, 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 what? no, no. It, what? It, It's not. It's not the search functionality of Spotlight that makes it magical. What is it? I use it like a tiny calculator at all times. Apple space bar eighteen times six, and it'll give you the answer. Or how many teaspoons are in four cups? Whoa! Right. Yeah, so it'll just give you like the quick answer like that. So if I just need to like, oh, hey, what would six tickets to Kenny would be? They're thirty eight bucks a piece. Thirty eight times six, done. But but so this is this is basically like this is what I use Siri, Siri for is yeah. hey Siri, what's thirteen times twelve? Yeah, yes. But like, and I use it instead of Launchpad. Like, yeah, I oh, never I use go it. into Launchpad. I, I cleared out my entire uh, dock and I just use Spotlight for things. So I just use it as my launcher, like Apple Space iTunes. And it opens up, or Apple Space, Google Music, Final Cut Pro, up. holy crap! <laughs> it's all in there, so it indexes every app on your machine, indexes all the files on your machine, has links to Wikipedia, thing. Wolfram Apple. When, I, when I've reloaded, uh, when Apple, I've reloaded my Alpha. computer, Bless. when the CPU is just maxed out for that first like day, that's it indexing everything on my mm-hmm. machine. That's MDS. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like that's on what it is. on a Windows workstation, do you actually go start programs, accessories, no. calculator? No, you uh-uh. go start and type in calculate. Or, Start typing in calc. or if you, or if your uh, Windows R C A L C terminal services M S T M S T S C uh, WinWord. Uh, Excel Notepad Notepad uh, yeah. You just start flipping like I'm this such is, a failure as a power user. <laughs> like I <laughs> that's what this is. I I try to keep my hand off the mouse. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that that's the spotlight gets a lot of cool things. Like you can ask now how many cups are in three how many cups are in three liters or something like that and do all of those sorts of things. You can add things like, Hey, uh, 1 PM haircut and it'll create a calendar event. Like those are the sorts of things they're into Google Terror. They're into Google now territory with this. Okay. Now, now, now with, with El Capitan, you El can Capitan. say things like show me all the photos I took at work last week. Which, if you work at a highly regulated organization, you shouldn't have any. That should come back blank. But um, I do a lot of screen captures for yeah. different, different things that I'm working on. Yeah. So that's where... Show me all the pictures I took June 12th, 2011. Yeah. Now, yeah. this I'm enjoying with Google Photos. Right. Like, I had a thing where yes. I'm like, oh, I don't want to have to... I usually have to scroll all the way through to find something of... Uh, uh, there was a conference we did back on May 22nd. So I'm like, wait a minute. And May 22nd popped up everything from that day mm-hmm. and i just downloaded that stuck it in because i couldn't find it on my photos on my phone because it's doing that weird thing where they kind of go away into the cloud and on my onto my computer here and i don't have them on my phone anymore even though i did not take them off which yeah. i'm kind of glad and but it's happening in a mysterious way and it's getting weird um are you talking about I, the the ios photos ios photos yeah there's, but the, but there's the, a there's an option in settings called optimized storage and, and I'm in that, that because it would always build that up, and then I would fill my phone yeah. with I'm all not, the pictures. Yeah, I don't, I don't use that. What I do is, is I allow the stream to sync back to my computer, and then right. delete anything that I don't think. So, but the, I'm need. this is the, the this is the problem. Is then welcome to photos manager. Like, yeah, the fl- yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because then I don't know what to delete, and and I go in. It's like, oh, everything is here. It's like, okay, then it doesn't give me a readily ready version. Uh, a place to delete or I have a couple of videos that aren't syncing for some reason and I just get in, stuck in this loop. So, yeah. So Spotlight gets a lot of neat features coming through it. Um, one of the other big things, Mail gets a bunch of gestures like iOS has. Mm-hmm. 